And Leah has no feeling whatsoever about you know putting somebody down, no matter who it is, her mother, her father, anybody. I mean, uh, my mother died, and she was always like, oh, my grandmother, my grandmother, my grandmother. You know, she didn't even show up at the funeral for my mother. So she's just a phony. When George was sick with cancer, um, Leah did fly out to see George once. She stayed all of eight hours and then flew back home to California. So other than that one time flying out here, she never once flew out here again to see how George was doing. I made an appearance. I, I did what I had to do and best that. Even the relationship isn't that good. He's still your father. He's still your father. In my mind, she's just a phony. All her, oh, I'm gonna make a documentary with my grandmother. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. And like I said, she never even came to the funeral. And then she says, oh, I don't like funerals. Uh, hello, this is family, this is your grandmother. The woman practically raised you. And she just, that's the way she is. And I don't like it. And that's another reason why uh, Leah and I don't talk. I mean, I'm sure if, uh, God forbid, Vicky died, you know, I would probably go out to California and, you know, pay my respects. And my wife's name is Dana. She has been very supportive of, of me and, and everything that's been going on. And uh, she's been very defensive with Leah because of the fact that Leah had what to say about her and, of course, me in her book. What hurt me most about the book is that Leah said a lot of things like, uh, I'm a drug dealer, I'm a pimp, I'm this, I'm that. And I said, where are you getting this? It's just like her show on Scientology. She doesn't talk to anybody or know if they're true or not, but she'll still air what goes on. So in her book, Leah said a lot of bad things about me and her mother, Vicky, and of course her stepfather, George, and Angelo. And when I read all this, it hurt me a lot. I, like I said, how could my daughter say these things about me? Yeah, I always held out a hope that one day she'll, you know, hit her head or something and wake up and say, you know, I have a dad. I want to, I want to be in touch with him. I want to talk to him, you know, besides everything else. But because she thinks she's here, can't happen.